So this video is going to continue chapter 14 of geometry. It's going to cover 14.5 and 14.6. Uh, by the end of this video, you should know the law of syllogism, the law of the contrapositive, uh, and four forms of valid reasoning. So we're going to start with the law of syllogism, which says that if you accept if P then Q is true, and if you accept if Q then R is true, you must logically accept if P then R is true. So essentially if we have P then Q and we have Q then R and we say that P is true, then we can say we can essentially skip Q and say just if P then R. This would be statements such as um, if I get a job then I will earn money, and if I earn money, then I will buy a computer. We can say, then combining that, if I get a job, I will buy a computer. So now we have some terms. So to create the converse of a conditional statement, the two parts of the statement are simply reversed. So con the converse, the statements are reversed. To create the inverse, the parts are negated. Both two parts are negated. And to create the contrapositive, the two parts are reversed and negated. So the law of the contrapositive says that if a conditional statement is true, then its contrapositive is also true. And conversely, if the contrapositive is true, then the original conditional statement must also be true. So we can put this in symbolic terms. So the law of the contrapositive essentially says that if P then Q, therefore um, not Q, then not P. And the converse then says if not Q, then not P, therefore P then Q. So now we have four forms of valid reasoning. So the first is that if we have if P then Q, and if we're given that P is true, then we can conclude, so therefore, that's the therefore symbol, that Q is true, and that's by MP. So that's what that rule is called. Then we have our second one, um, if P then Q, and we're given that not Q, then we can conclude that not P, and that's by NT. Um, and then for our third one, we're given if P then Q, and we're given if Q, then R. Um, therefore, we can conclude if P, then R. And that's by the law of syllogism, or LS. And then our last one is going to be if we're given if P, then Q. Um, then we can also conclude that if not Q, then not P and that's by the law of the contrapositive.